What's going on everyone? Welcome back to G-Ball Vision. Thank you for stopping in. Today we have an exciting unboxing to dig into coming in from Kaiser. Before we get started, double check and make sure you are subscribed here to the channel. I'd love to have you hit that thumbs up button. It really helps push these videos out there. Some more people have a chance to check them out. Let me know what you are carrying in your pockets today down there in the comments. Love hearing from you and what you are carrying for the day. Thank you to Kaiser for sending this in for all of us to take a look at. I'm pretty I'm pretty excited about this one. We have been seeing a lot of fixed blades coming out from every company uh, known to man at this point. But uh, this one, this is one that's really caught my eye. Out of all the ones that have come out, uh, there's been two that have really caught my eye when we're talking about mainstream production companies, right? Like Kaiser. The Smolt is an amazing EDC fixed blade. That was the first one that really drew me in. This one also really drew me in. Now, I only could get a view of it from some pictures that I saw. And I think I saw a short reel of this on Instagram somewhere. And I knew I knew I had one to get into at some point. Uh, so I didn't want to look too much into the knife, but uh, I thought this looked like an awesome option. It's called the Muskrat there, you can see, and it is a D. Sharon design. We have a PVD coated drop point blade, nice row of jimping there. You can see this one is coming in D2. I think they're going to have some other options available as well. So it won't be just D2, I think. I want to say the other ones in 154, and what I mean by that is 154 CM. Let's go ahead and give you guys a little showing here. So we're talking about six and three sixteenths overall, two and a half inches of cutting edge there. So we're in that size range that's ultimately going to be very good for a true EDC fixed blade. Now, I don't mind something around this size right here because I can still get a full purchase on the handle. Nothing more, nothing less. And that is exactly what I want right there. I wanna be able to get my entire hand on that handle. So I, if I need leverage or whatever, I have it and it's dependable, it's secure. I like that right there. And two and a half inches, that is going to be plenty. Uh, now, she might say it's not, but I think two and a half inches, I think it's going to be good to go for most occasions, right? Uh, no, but in all seriousness, I think two and a half inches of cutting edge is going to be just fine. Uh, I, I think you'll be able to get most things accomplished with that two and a half inch blade. And also, the knife comes with, underneath the uh, insert there, it comes with a taco-style Kydex sheath. Perfect, perfect. This is what we want to see right here. A nice, minimal sheath. You know, pancake-style sheaths, they're, they're all right for certain things. But when we're talking about a true EDC fixed blade, we want something that is going to be as minimal as and safe as possible. And this is the way to accomplish being as minimal and as safe as possible. You still get the Kydex, so you get all that protection for yourself and for your tool, but it's going to stay nice and minimal because you don't have this extra flange. Now, does that make a huge difference? No, but if we're trying to zero in on something that is perfect out of the box or, you know, almost perfect out of the box in regards to the fixed blade itself, the sheath, and the carry option. It is hard to accomplish that these days. It, I mean, ever. Uh, you know, somewhere along the lines when you buy a fixed blade, there's a miss somewhere. If it's not with the knife itself, it's with the sheath, or it's with the mounting position. Somewhere along the line, you know, it typically just isn't right and you're going to have to buy something else in order to accommodate whatever it's missing or you might find that it's just not worth 
you know, continuing on with that setup. Uh, so I've been on the quest, which a lot of you know, uh, for the perfect EDC fixed blades, I should say at this point, because I have found several that work very well right out of the box. Not a ton, but quite a few. And I think this is going to be especially, you know, this is probably going to be very inexpensive in this D2. I mean, almost a definite yes, this is worth having uh, right here in D2, especially if they're going to be like 40 bucks. But in 154 CM in my Carta with the same setup, I don't know what they're going to be priced at. I'll have it linked down below along with the small and a few other fixed blades from Kaiser. Uh, but yeah, I think this is going to be a very, very solid option. And if you're a, you know, if you're new to EDC fixed blades, then it would benefit you to have maybe a set of scout straps and a, you know, an Alti clip just to have right if you're just getting into them i would say most people that are into them already have probably both of those options with a tech lock you know as a third option um, but for a true edc fixed blade you're most likely going to want scout straps or some sort of pocket clip now this comes with this pocket clip here which is going to work just fine uh, it really is. You'll be able to put this down in the pocket if you want. You'll be able to put this on a belt if you want. Now, if you want to carry this horizontally, you're going to want to snag yourself a set of scout straps. Or I've even seen people just make something out of paracord. I've done it before as well. Just looped some paracord around and tied it off. And then you kind of have two permanent scout straps, if you will. Um, but I would probably go with just, you can get some scout straps, uh, pull the dot straps, American made, uh, very inexpensive, 10 bucks or something. And it's not like if you buy an Alti clip or scout straps, uh, that you can only use it once. Of course you can only use it at one at a time. Um, but you can switch it from knife to knife to knife. So, uh, it's good to have stuff like that in your repertoire, in your stuff. But, uh, yeah, I think this right out of the box is going to be a perfect setup for going into the pocket. I would say a majority of people are going to want to be able to carry their EDC fixed blade on their pocket, in their pocket, or in a scout, scout style manner. Now I do have some telephone book paper here so we can check that edge. And we know Kaiser is going to put a nice edge on these. Very good. If you're paying attention, very good, right out of the box. For some reason, at this current time, I cannot find my smolt. Uh, I was going to bring that out and compare that with this knife. That's going to be a little bit larger. And keep in mind, uh, for all the, the Kaiser fans or just knife fans in general, they're going to be coming with the Kaiser Militol fixed blade very, very soon. I believe by October, uh, those will be out and about. Now... This one's coming in G10 with these G10 overlays here. Uh, probably going to have different options for this knife here, the D2. And then I believe the 154CM is also going to come with my Cardas and G10s. Uh, like I said, I'll have all that stuff linked down below. But Kaiser, Kaiser's the first big production company, you know, folding knife company uh, that has nailed a true EDC fixed blade out of the box. The Smolt is great. Um, that came with a textile lock, and I got I gotta you know subtract points off that one because you're just not going to use a tech lock uh, for an EDC fixed blade. You're just not. It's also ha it also has a pancake style sheath. Um, so I I just got to knock a couple points off that one. This will be the first time for a folding knife large production company that they get everything right. 
Uh, and they have two different options. You can get D2 very, very uh, affordably, or you can get the 154 CM version, which is also going to be affordable. You know, it just kind of depends on, you know, what you want to do at, or what you like. Some people will take the D2. Some people will take the 154. Uh, you know, the D2 is going to be a good option at this price point. As far as retention, very, very good. You have that nice ramp to kick this thing out of the sheath. No wiggle by holding it with the handle. And this is where you would typically get some wiggle if there's going to be any at all. And there is none at all. So that is a very sound setup right there. I, I really like this. I knew from the moment I saw it, I wondered what it would be coming with as far as sheathing and mounting options. Uh, and they nailed it. This is absolutely EDC fixed blade knife production perfection right here. Uh, I would love to see this in a premium super steel, you know, 3V crew wear, something like that, M4. See it in something like that with some carbon fiber on lays some titanium onlays, something like that, uh, that would be an instant, instant Grand Slam EDC fixed blade. I mean, it's great as it is. I'd love to see a premium one. You'll have to let me know what you think. Do you want to see this fixed blade here in a premium setup? Let me know down in the comments. I love hearing from you. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. I always appreciate that, everyone. If you're new to the channel here, I release new knife and EDC content every single day. Hit that subscribe button, ring the bell. I'd love to have you here. I'll put up a couple of new videos. Go check one of them out. Have yourself an awesome day. Thank you all again for watching. I will catch you on the next one.